When we hit January, B3 was just very excited. We were looking forward to Sasha having her new son, Colton, and we were also scheduled to sing for the Martin Luther King Day celebration before she had the baby. And so we were just really excited. We were practicing for it and getting ready. And our uncle passed about a week before the celebration was to take place. Um, he had been fighting cancer for a long time. So we were just sad to hear the news, but happy that he wasn't in pain or suffering anymore. We got to sing to him before he passed, and we were asked to sing at his homecoming service, so we were happy to make the flight to Colorado to do that. Oh. <laughs> Me and Toya here. She's eating her bagel sandwich. It smells really good too. But we are excited. We got um, picked to do the Martin Luther King Day celebration service. So we are super excited about that. That's going to be on Monday. So we're really, really excited. We had practice the other day with Chavis. And it went I'll take really another well. Concourse and take another concourse for boarding all roles and all zones for spirit on flight. So we're really board. excited. To Los Angeles, all can make a firm passenger. At the same Please time, make we're sad because we're headed to Denver now for our uncle's for spirit on flight. To Los Angeles, if you are a ticket for firm passenger, please make your way to Los Angeles for immediate boarding of your aircraft. So we are going to Denver, Colorado today his homegoing service. So we are going there, just Toy and I, because Sasha is getting close to delivering Colton. So she had to stay at home. Um, and we're praying that she'll rest and relax so that we can get through our song on Monday. And then after that, she can have the baby. It's fine. <laughs> But we're in the airport, we're waiting for our other two sisters, Tony and Lisa. So there's four out of the six of us are going um, to Denver today. Toy and I have to sing together. It's going to be weird without Sasha. Hold down the tenor parts, but we're going to do our best. make our uncle proud. So we're looking forward to seeing our family though. We don't really get to see them very often. So we are looking forward to seeing our cousins and uh, our other aunts and stuff. Um, but it's just sad that we have to see them under these circumstances. So, yeah. Just eat my sandwich. You can eat it. I don't want you to record me. I don't want to record you. So he wants to eat her sandwich in peace, she says. <laughs> in peace. Heavenly peace. <laughs> so yeah. That's what we're doing. I'm not taping you. You can't see it. You can see your shoulder. That's it. That's okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And um, hopefully uh, my husband is at home with the boys by itself this weekend, so I'm hoping that everything's okay when I get back home. But we'll just be gone for one day because we have to get back on Sunday um, and get ready for Monday. So um, we're really excited about God opening that door and giving us the opportunity to do that. We'll see you guys when we get to Denver. We're on a family trip to Walmart. Here with Dad and Mom, Lisa, Tony. We've never done this before. Daddy's in the candy aisle. It's in the like where the popcorn and stuff is. Yeah. So we're shopping, getting snacks while we're in Denver. 
So, we just got a call, text from our manager. And he just, now that's the size pop part I get for the boots. <laughs> <laughs> they just let us know that we are not singing for the Martin Luther King Day service. Very sad. So, we're I really wanted to be a part of it. You know, we live in Atlanta. Yeah, we home watch home. it. Yeah. They, are, they, they do have small. Yeah, you just showed Tony, you're just talking in it. it. <laughs> this, is, to, this is our sister Tony. She's talking about small snacks. I'm just saying we don't need big bags of snacks. Well, mom is getting small snacks. We were talking about something else. Can we go back to? Can we oh, get back to? Go back to what you were saying. Yeah, and so we're like, you know, we watch the service like every year, and I was just looking forward to being a part of it, the celebration. I mean, we still can watch it and all of that. You know, still celebrate the life of Dr. King and his dream and what he fought for. Huh? I just really wanted to actually be there and see his daughter. And, you know, just to actually be there and be a part and contribute to the service. But, yeah, so we don't get it now. And this is part of the business. This is what I would be buying. Just what? Just kind of what happens sometimes. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm not going to fit it. It's hard. It's hard sometimes because you get excited about it. You tell your family and your friends, and then yeah, you feel like if you had a big name, yeah. Maybe but because be we're not, you know, big name artists yet, you know, sometimes it just happens. But that's just how it is, and it's okay. We know that what's for us is for us. Maybe this time it just wasn't for us. That's true. So way to look at it. We're gonna keep plugging along. Like I said, we're here to celebrate our uncle yes. um, who just passed. So we're not gonna let that get us down. You know, we're gonna do our best. We have to sing tomorrow, so we're gonna do our best. And that's all that we can do. And God's gonna take care of the rest. Um, God has our back. So, but just sad though. That kind of sad for two reasons. <laughs> yeah, we're like our manager like tells us to call him once we land because he's like, you know, we gotta talk about the king service tomorrow. So we're like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. thought it was like good. Then it was like bad. Then he sends us a text. I know you guys are, you know, they're dealing with you know uh, your family, but sorry to inform you, we got bumped. Yeah. So just pray for us, saints. As we pray for you. As we pray for you. <laughs> well, you trust if love will save the day. Tell me, have you ever been in love? I Bittersweet. We were happy to get back. We were sad to leave our family um, that we love so much in Colorado. 
it was just a wonderful experience to go to his homegoing service and celebrate his life and hear everyone singing songs that he wrote. Um, it was just so awesome. And we're just going to continue to keep pushing um, letdowns and things come in this music business. It's just part of it. But we know that what God has for us is for us. And this year, we're really looking forward to the great things that God has in store for us. And we're just so proud to be able to sing and encourage people everywhere that we go. And that's what we want to keep doing. Yeah.